Of course, a lot of businesses across Alabama are taking a hit, closed to uh, no fault of their own. The lieutenant governor's office has formed a task force aimed at seeing what restrictions should be lifted. Baldwin County State Senator Chris Elliott agrees small businesses need relief soon, and he's hopeful some of those businesses could reopen in just a few weeks. WKRG.com mobile journalist Blake Brown with that story. Yeah, Senator Chris Elliott tells me he's hopeful at least some Alabamians will return to work in the coming weeks. Like, it's my hope that we are back up and, and running uh, very early in May. Now, that's going to be modified. Don't get me wrong. Um, I mean, you're going to have kitchen workers wearing masks and gloves that may not have been before, et cetera. Um, you may have, you, you will have additional um, cleaning requirements, I would think. While he agrees Alabama's done a good job of preventing the spread of the virus so far, he also thinks some of the restrictions are too broad. The public health officer has closed private beaches. Uh, these are beaches that are owned privately. This is somebody's front yard. Um, that's quite a step, and I, I think we need to look at how those closures really relate to some of the social distancing orders and the public health issues surrounding that, and frankly, how they don't. Right now, the projected numbers for Alabama are fluctuating, but he's noticing a positive trend. We are seeing the projections change dramatically. Um, we're seeing the, uh, the rate of infection starting to level out some. Elliott says those are all positive signs that we could start to see some normalcy again soon, but where do we go from here? We need to look at the new data. We need to look at the new projections, and we need to start making some decisions about how we can open up some of those businesses that were deemed non-essential uh, by the state health officer and the governor earlier. In Baldwin County, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.